I am Dr. Jim Bostic, uh, Executive Director of Nepahan Community Center, and today I want to talk about injustice in the justice system. When we look across the spectrum in our nation in the justice system, and many of the decisions that have been handed down in our nation, they are, they are unbalanced, they appear to be racially motivated and biased, and when we look into the criminal justice system, we see that it is top heavy with people who are minorities in our country, who have gotten longer sentences for committing the same and or even lesser crimes than those uh, of their counterparts, but yet they're given uh, longer sentences. Let's look for instance at what's happening in America today with our opioid epidemic. Now that this has become an, a drug epidemic that has affected a non-minority non communities in, a very, in very high proportions, it no longer is being criminalized, but now there are uh, solutions that are being provided, billions of dollars that are being set aside to address it. But when just not that long ago, when the crack epidemic, which is another drug, hit America, but it hit the minority communities, anybody and everybody that was engaged in the use and in the sale of this drug was put in jail for long periods of time, some still serving those years. Um, so th that's just one example of some of the in injustices that have taken place through the justice system across our nation. There are many more. There are injustices as it relates to Muslims in our nation and the sentences that they are receiving uh, for crimes uh, that they may or may not have committed. When we look across the spectrum, um, our nation is standing as the moral judge of the entire world when it comes to inhumane practices and things that other nations are doing that rightfully are unjust uh, to their people. However, when we, when we put the mirror in front of ourselves, we have to be honest enough to admit that America is committing some of the most egregious crimes themselves in the justice system across the spectrum. And before we can become the moral judge of the world, we have to take an introspective look at the things that we're doing in our own justice system, in our own criminal justice systems all across our nation, and begin to rectify them before we stand in judgment of somebody else. In closing, there is a scripture that says in Matthew, I believe it is the seventh chapter, judge not that thy shall not be judged, and with, and with whatever measure you meet out, it shall, be met, it shall be meted back unto you. So be careful how we judge other nations as it relates to the criminal justice system and our justice system until we clean up the mess we've made within our own nation.